Hi, I'd like to introduce you to some tools that you might have lurking around in your pencil cases. Uh, the first one we're going to look at today is a ruler. Now, the ruler we know measures things for us and it starts at zero. Although some of your rulers may not have zero written here, but you know it starts from zero and then we start measuring. Now, this top line here, the digits are uh, measuring up in centimeters and if you look on the other side this is inches now that's your ruler that we can use during construction okay and then we also have a protractor now this protractor does the same job as a ruler it measures a distance but this time a protractor will measure a turn okay so we start from the zero now this line here of digits this line of numbers here will measure just like the ruler let's bring our ruler up. measuring a ruler from 0 1 2 3 4 5 or if you had millimeters it'd be 10 20 30 40 50 etc but this time this protractor the top row measures in it goes up in 10 10 degrees 20 degrees 30 degrees etc and it this tiny little indent here would be uh one degrees, two degrees, three degrees, four degrees, five degrees. So that part here is five. And then six, seven, eight, nine, ten degrees. Okay, so that's that. And what you'll notice here is there are two sets of numbers. So this one here is going up to 90 and then continues to 180 for a straight line. And then what you'll notice on this side, below it, there's another set of numbers. And this is measuring from the other side, okay? So it does exactly the same as the top digits, but we've just got them on the other side. So if you wanted to start from here, you can start measuring from this side. And if you wanted to measure from this side, then you use the top row going across. Now, this fantastic piece here has now been adapted, would you believe? Now you can get ones that look like this. How fun is this? Look, it's got a swirly bit here, okay? Now, a lot of us, the old folks are used to using one of these but you can get all sorts of gadgets today now this one also has a pointer so instead of having to use my uh, pencil here to decide where i want to draw the line the cut off point okay to draw my line here you can start from zero just like from here you can start from zero uh here we can start from zero starting from here all right and then we can measure to where we want to go and then we can use our pencil and draw the line where we need to, okay? So that's our protractors. The next thing I'd like to introduce you to is a compass, okay? So this is a, a compass that you should have. And if you look at the way that I'm holding up, using the handle at the top, okay, to be able to twist it. And I've got two here. Now, what I'd like you to notice is this pencil is much longer and this one is a shorter pencil this is a no-no okay because we use compasses to draw circles and if you have a long ruler on this when you want to turn it will knock onto your knuckle and it will get in the way all right so you won't get a nice smooth finish because it does just that it keeps knocking onto your fingers Whereas if you had a smaller one like this, it's easier to use because that you can twist it as much as you like and it won't knock into your fingers. So it'll be nice and easy to use. So always use a smaller pencil. I am going to show you how to use a compass later on, but I would like I wanted to introduce you to some of the things that we'll be using. So a compass, a protractor a ruler and a pencil to draw a line with, okay? So these are the items that we will be using. I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe and like if you find this useful. And now remember, if you carry on uh, looking on our uh, video with our videos, you'll notice that we've got some more videos to show you how to use the compass, how to use a protractor, and how your ruler and your pencil will also come to your hand. So, see you at the next video.